Hi guys and welcome to the video tutorial for the IKEA toy car and today we are doing the wheel. So start by going to file, new part, click OK. And we have an extruded boss base to do. We're going to draw this on the right work plane. We're going to use the circle tool. We're going to draw from the origin. And we're going to use smart dimension tools. We're dimensioning to diameter of 25 millimeters. You can exit smart dimension, exit sketch, and the distance is going to be eight millimeters. No need to put in millimeters, just eight will do. When you're happy with that, tick it. We have a couple of features to add. We now have an extruded cut to do on one side. So we selected extruded cut and now we're selecting the face that we want to put the sketch on. And because we drew the original circle from the origin, when we do the next circle, we can start that point there. Now you can draw in pictorial view or you can use your quick keys to flip things around. Okay. And control four is the one that you want to be viewing straight onto that surface if you prefer. So draw a circle, again it doesn't matter what size to start with, and use your smart dimension tools to set the diameter. And this diameter is going to be 20. If you want to view it in pictorial view, control 7, or use your mouse wheel to spin that around about. Now that's going to go forward three millimeters look at your preview if you're happy with that then just tick it now the wheel if you notice on your drawing is actually dished okay so what we're going to do is we're going to use the fillet tool the fillet tool what we need to do is we need to select this edge so don't mistake it for the surface it's the actual edge that we want now, the um, fillet that we're going to put in here, it may be another size for you. What you can do is you can input the size and have a look at it, and see how that's working out. So 17.5 I think should take us to the centre, or near enough the centre. So in your fillet parameters, make sure it's on symmetric. Uh, the other thing you need to check is that it's this first icon that you've got on. It should be that by default. Symmetric, 17.5. You're happy with your preview. Make sure you've got your full preview turned on in this dialog box. Click OK. Then we're going to spin it around. We're going to do an extruded cut on the back surface. Again drawing from the origin and this time we're going to smart dimension it and the diameter is going to be 5 exit smart dimension exit sketch and this one is going to go in 3 millimeters as well I'm not sure if you've completed. All we have to do now is maybe apply some colour to it. Go into appearances, go to plastic, go to high gloss, scroll down until you see red gloss plastic, and click and drag and bring that onto the object. When you drop it, just pause with where your mouse is and you get options about how you can place that. What we're going to do is we'll apply it to the boss extrude. 
and that will leave this surface here one color. You can color that if you want. For example, you can go with white plus plastic. You can drop it on that surface and then apply it to the face. You can see the effect if you do other surfaces. A little bit in the middle here. We'll zoom in and apply quite close to that face as well, just so it blends in. When you're happy with it, save that as a wheel, and you're done.